Well, hello everyone, and welcome back from a little bit of a hiatus. Uh, you probably missed my video on Monday where I explained that a little bit more. I was in a show the last couple of weeks where we were doing our tech rehearsals and final performances. Uh, so I was a little bit absent due to severe time constraints on that behalf. But we are back and we are going to pick up where we left off here and we need to start by making an adjustment to our team based off of the previous weeks, or not the previous weeks, but the previous cutscene that we had where we have Doctor Strange, Scarlet Witch, Crystal, and Elsa Bloodstone, which I'm not overly thrilled about this team lineup, but uh, it's the team lineup that we have to go off of. So we will make do with what we have. Let's go ahead and talk to Medusa here. I'm not expecting this cutscene to really show us anything in relation to the team and who we have on it, but if it were to, I'm fairly confident that it's going to be uh, basically identical to what we saw in the previous cutscene. But let's go ahead and get these opponents out of the way. Ooh, nice work there, Scarlet Witch. That was a bit of an interesting conundrum for you, for sure. Ooh, let's get away from those guys. Ooh, let's get... I did not mean to fly there. I did not mean to do that either. And hopefully... There we go. Flames of the Fall team getting some really good damage in there. And that gets us through them. Crystal should gain some really good experience here. Which is my hope. Because she is uh, very far behind the remainder of the characters that we are currently working with. There we go. Flames of the Fall team getting rid of that final uh, mighty alpha primitive there. There we are. There's the last of them. And that really should just about do it. Now, normally, we uh, use this chapter as another installment or its own installment in... Uh, we group it together with one of the other subworlds. But due to the fact that we need to keep some pressing attention on the uh, cutscenes, we will probably not be doing anything like that. And... Let's see here. We really just had Crystal there in that cutscene, uh, which doesn't do a whole lot of differential uh, team distribution that we would need to take into consideration there. And we've got Beast who's going to make an appearance, but not a playable character, so it doesn't have a bearing. It's really kind of a... Disappointment that we didn't get Beast and Medusa and some of these other characters as playable party members. Um, Medusa swooping in here. Um, still no real differences here, and I don't know that that's something that we're going to see overall. Black Bolt, again, another character that would have been super awesome, but he's very overpowered and can be difficult to incorporate faithfully in terms of being um, accurate to his power level and what he's capable of doing. So I can understand maybe why they shied away from him. And... No real changes to anything, because we were not introduced or portrayed by any playable characters okay. there. So we'll keep an eye on this cutscene next and see if that changes, which again, not expecting it to, though Kamala Khan was hanging out there in the background, so maybe she'll be in a position where uh, she'll make an appearance in one of these cutscenes and we'll need to incorporate her to the team. There's Crystal, that's more than what we saw in the last... Um, I remember now. Not seen, but again, a character that we already had in our rotation. Again. And oh, Gorgon having some issues here. Anything <laughs> over the shoulder? Nope, just Maximus and all of his alpha primitive underlings. 
And nope, no alternate uh, cutscene introductions there either. So let's go ahead and take care of these. The Alpha Primitive's using some more of these gravity well grenades. Am I not able to use this in a synergy with other members of my team? That's unfortunate. But that should allow us to take out a good number of those opponents. Let's get these flames in there. Nice synergy there with Crystal in her uh, whirlwind. Ooh, get away from that. And those all got blown behind me, so I didn't get to do nearly as much as I probably should have. And there's some more of those flames there. Though, unfortunately, Doctor Strange isn't going to be a character that we uh, are going to have use up for a lot longer, I would assume, based off of him being pretty... Um, sparse in some of these later cutscenes. And that's all of the opponents we needed to conduct combat with. We'll top ourselves off here. Again, this cutscene I don't think introduces anything different from what we've seen in the most recent cutscenes there. And... Yep. No changes there, and we wouldn't have a moment to alter them. Actually, no, Kamala Khan is there. Um, and we do have an option to change her, uh, our team. I think, Elsa, that was such a brief, fleeting moment, and I wasn't able to pause it. But let's go ahead and operate under the assumption that Elsa Bloodstone uh, was not present for that. And if I'm incorrect, then that's just kind of on me at this point. So let's go ahead and put... Uh, Miss Marvel in our rotation. Crystal should still be there, and Scarlet Witch may still be there as well. Uh, these are just kind of the characters that have been recurring, and I guess we'll be corrected on that based off of what we end up finding in a little bit. And there goes some more of these opponents. And let's continue our onslaught onto our opponents here. They're still gaining some more levels, which again, pretty good for her. But I don't know just how much more utility she's going to see in the course of this challenge. I don't even know how much utility we're going to see out of characters such as Kamala Khan. Um, which is a little... Unfortunate. I think that's all of them, so let's go ahead and head up here to these uh, next couple of alpha primitives that are cropping up. And if we play our cards right, that should be able to throw him off the edge. Uh, I don't think that was me. I think that was Scarlet Witch that finished him off. But let's come in here and take on Maximus next. We've got our extreme attacks ready to go. And... Ooh, that was rough. And there you go with some additional synergy damage, which didn't get as much as I was kind of hoping. There we go. His stun timer is very, very quick. I think he has the fastest stun uh, timer of all of the uh, main bosses that you end up conducting combat with, and that should be enough to get us into the next stage. Team's looking okay. Crystal's a little the worse for wear. Ooh, that was a really clutch block coming in there from Max or from Thane. And he's not keeping that block up the way that I would like him to. 
which is a bit unfortunate. Stop that. Uh, let's switch off of him and over to... Come on, Kamala. Hit him. Ooh, that was pretty good. Okay, let's roll over here and regain some health from these. Because Doctor Strange not only is currently our strongest combatant, but he's also... And we did get into that, which is unfortunate. Um, but he was also the lowest on health at the moment of needing to refresh. Get those flames out. And we'll need to conserve some of our attacks for some of the later strikes here. Flames of the Fel team coming in again there. Let's get a bit of our auxiliary damage in here. Ooh, that was close. That should get us into the last little section. We're going to switch off Doctor Strange here. Actually, no, we're going to double back and grab that health, which just basically was immediately nullified there. And then let's come over here and get these three. I think Kamala's a little too far away for my liking, but we ended up getting a decent amount of damage in. Get out of that. Ooh, get out of that. Oh, Crystal's in some very rough shape here. Flames going in there. That's good. Still not quite enough to finish him off. And definitely missing some damage there. Ooh, that's not good. And that didn't give me any extra health, which is not particularly great. Let's see if we can get... Ooh, that was a large laser pulse there. Come on. And we now need to switch off to another team member. Okay, come on, Kamala. You can get this. Uh, we now need to switch off to somebody else. Scarlet Witch, not going to be the greatest option, but she's currently at the highest health of the team members that we have. And I don't have any of my... Uh, we need to get inside that Amber, because there's no way I'm defeating him fast enough with... Hex bolts. Man, she is just super weak. And now Doctor Strange has gone down. We're going to switch over to Crystal. Because she's again going to be one of our better options currently. Let's get Doctor Strange back on his feet if we can. Get away from the large laser burst there. And we can take advantage of this circle to really heal you up, and then we can get Doctor Strange back out for dealing the bulk amount of damage that we are looking for to finish off this Maximus fight. And that's one of the issues that we're going to run into. Ooh, get out of that, get out of that. There we go, Doctor Strange finishing that off quite nicely. 
and we ended up losing Scarlet Witch there towards the end, but that's okay. This just makes things a little bit more difficult. Um, but that's the way that things happen sometimes. No uh, additional cutscenes there, nothing to really change or alter, so let's get a sneak peek at the team that we'll need to start with for our next episode. And we'll kind of go from there. I don't think that this cutscene actually introduces anything, but I've been wrong before, so let's keep an eye on who props up and who needs to be put in our starting lineup for the start of the next episode. I wasn't about to wait around and find out what they plan to do with it. So I blew my cover and grabbed their rock. Well, Nothing that is indicative in this cutscene. Try to take it back. So, if you can hear this, Avengers, lock onto these coordinates. And it'd be a shame to be stuck in paradise. Don't think that uh, that really produces anything conclusive for us. So we're going to go based off the same team that we currently have, though I know that that's going to change. However, that again is going to be where we stop for today. So if you're enjoying this series, make sure that you leave a like. If you're excited to uh, get back into this after a brief two-week hiatus, then be sure to let me know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for the now-resumed daily variety content. Thanks so much for your time, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.